Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have one of my favorite videos to film, a foundation review, first impression and wear test. For today's video, we are going to be testing out the new, kind of newish, I'm a little bit late to this, but the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have been so excited to try this. I picked it up at the Sephora VIB sale. I showed it in my last makeup haul if you guys wanna go check out that video to see everything that I got in the sale. But this skin tint, was definitely what I was the most excited about. You guys know if you watch me, I love trying new complexion products, especially from Fenty Beauty. They make some of my favorite makeup products high-end wise for sure. And I've also been really into more of that light, natural, just easy, fresh and glowy tint for the summer. This actually has been sitting in my collection, I wanna say close to a month now. The VIB sale was a little while ago, but I've been holding off on testing this out because I really wanted to give you guys my first impression on camera and I wanted to test it out together so I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video and if you want to see my first impression review and wear test on the new Fenty Beauty ease drop blurring skin tint make sure to keep on watching let's go ahead and talk about pricing details and all of that good stuff if you guys want to go ahead and jump on over to the application or if you want to skip to all the way at the end of the day to see my final thoughts I will have timestamps down below for all these sections of this video if you guys prefer to skip around but for those of of you that like all the information I'm giving it to you right now so first of all I love this packaging it was definitely one of the first things that caught my eye about this because typically well that's I was gonna say all the Fenty foundations come in their glass bottle but that's not true because their hydrating foundation came in just like a plastic squeeze tube with a pump but I love this if you guys have this then you'll know that it feels just nice in the hand it's very lightweight and it has like a soft touch feeling, almost imagine NARS, but a little bit more lightweight, if that makes any sense. It's just very soft touch. I love the matte packaging. I love the very unique shape, and I just think it's a really great bottle for a skin tint. It's small, compact, something that you could throw in your makeup bag, in your purse, in your carry-on if you're traveling. I have a feeling this is going to be just like a really great go-to summer foundation for a lot of people, and I really think she kept that in mind with the packaging. It is pretty tiny. It fits right in your hand, but you do get 1.08 fluid ounces in here which is very typical for any foundation you usually get around one fluid ounce the price on this skin tint is a 29.50 which I feel like is pretty reasonable for Fenty Beauty of course you are getting like the high-end brand name and stuff like that also Fenty Beauty is always the best quality but I also think if you compare it to their actual foundations where you get the same exact amount of product those retail for $36 and again, this retails for $29.50. So she definitely brought the price down on this, which I was very happy about. I always thought that like between $36 and $40 was a little bit expensive for a foundation. And again, you are getting that same amount of product, one ounce, as their $36 foundation. So it's not like she skimped out on the amount of product or anything, which I think is super, super awesome. This skin tint is available in 25 shades. And when I first saw 25 shades, I was very confused because as you guys know Fenty is known for their extensive 50 shades in their shade range so when I saw 25 I was like why would she release something with less shades if it's like her third or fourth complexion product but after doing a little more research I will pop some photos on the screen right here since these are like such sheer and light buildable formulas one shade can work for multiple skin tones so she kind of grouped a couple of the pro filter foundation shades together I hope that makes sense I don't think I'm explaining it very well so basically for example I got the shade 5 and people who wear the pro filter foundation in 185 and 190 can both wear the shade 5 so basically one shade in the ease drop skin tint can cover two to three shades of the pro filter foundation line I think the word that I'm looking for is flexible the shades are very flexible because they are so light and I have a feeling that I would probably even be able to wear in the summer maybe like shade 6 or 7 as as well last but not least just to read you guys the claims on the Sephora website it says that it is a lightweight buildable light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smoothed oh in flexible shades for all I did just say that so I did pick a good term to describe that it says it has light coverage it's a liquid formula and it is also vegan gluten free and cruelty free it's transfer resistant with a smooth texture and layers well with primer and skincare so uh, I think that is everything that you guys have to know 
know about the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. As I always say, if I miss anything, feel free to leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram if there's anything that you guys wanna know. But I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and jump on into the application now. Getting started with the application, I still haven't figured out exactly how I want to apply this. Do I wanna do primer? Do I wanna use a brush or a sponge? Still not 100% sure, but I did decide that I do think I wanna do a little bit of primer. As I just read on the Sephora website, it does say that it layers pretty nicely on top of primers in skincare, but I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit just to smooth out my pores. I don't think I'm going to prime the entirety of my face like I always do because I find that sometimes lighter skin tints like this don't necessarily always need a heavy prime. So I'm just going to use a little bit just to kind of even out my pores and some texture on the center of my face. This does say to shake well before using. I have tested this out on my hand just to see the color of it, and it is a very thin and liquidy formula. So I have a feeling if you don't shake it, it will kind of be separated a little bit when you open it up. It just has this really nice squeezy end to it. So really all you do is just squeeze out the product. I don't know exactly how much I wanna use, but there it is on the back of my hand so you guys can see the color and you can see it's running pretty quickly down my hand so it's very liquidy. I'm just going to start by dotting this all around my face. I feel like a little bit of this is gonna go a really long way. So you might not even need as much as I squeezed out on the back of my hand. I don't know how I want to apply this. I'm gonna go in with my sponge first just because that's typically my favorite method of application for my complexion products. But I don't know since this is so liquidy if the sponge is going to absorb it. So I guess it'll kind of be trial and error with the application. And the skin tint has absolutely no scent to it at all, which I love. It doesn't even have that classic vanilla-y Fenty shade either. It's just completely unscented. Just taking a tiny, tiny bit more just to finish up my forehead. All right, so here's what my skin is looking like after one layer of the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I am obsessing over how this is looking right now. This has just been totally my vibe lately, just light and fresh and dewy, and you guys can see the kind of coverage that it is giving me. Just enough coverage to even out the skin tone and cover what I want it to cover, and basically just overall make everything look even. As I'm sure you guys can see, I have been having a couple breakouts recently, like one here and one here. Those are still peeking through, but I honestly did not expect this to cover those up. I went into this knowing that this was going to be a very light coverage, but it's not too light where it looks like you put absolutely nothing on your skin. It's still giving a nice even effect. I definitely see the blurred effect. As I said, I didn't even put primer all over my skin and I feel like my whole face just looks so smooth and blurred and amazing right now. It looks really, really beautiful on the skin. It's very glowy and dewy, but at the same time, I'm not looking oily and I definitely feel like it's kind of matte ish in some places. It's not totally matte, but I think overall it's giving me more of a natural to satin finish opposed to something that's very, very dewy and glowy and luminous, which I really like. Typically day to day, I would be so happy with this, especially when I'm doing more of a light, no makeup, fresh makeup look like this. But just to kind of see the potential of how you could build this up, I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and just press it on spots that I just want a little tiny bit more coverage. That definitely gives a little bit more coverage if you wanna go in and just like spot conceal some spots. But I will say, I do think that it looks, I don't know if you guys will even be able to see from this far. I do think that it got a little bit cakey looking when I went in with that second layer with my finger. I feel like it almost didn't like melt into my skin like the first layer did. The second layer right there is kind of just sitting on top of my skin. One more thing that I'm not completely loving about this right now, I think it looks physically beautiful and I seriously love this glowiness and this coverage and everything. It does feel a little bit wet on the skin. I definitely could tell that I'm wearing something on my face. Typically, I don't really feel that way with certain foundations or certain skin tints, but this skin tint, I am feeling it on my skin. It is giving me like that wet, very high 
hydrated feeling. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin, but just very wet, I guess you could say, which also makes me a little bit hesitant to set it because when I have tried very wet foundations and complexion products like this in the past, when I go ahead and set it with powder, they do get very just pasty looking on the skin and they don't look that flattering. So I'm kind of thinking that I might leave this one on set for today just so we could kind of see how it goes without powder. I feel like this is a product that a lot of you might want to wear without powder anyway, just for like a quick, easy wear this to the pool or to the beach type of skin tint. You're not going to want to put a bunch of layers on your face. And I feel like for the summertime, we could definitely get away more with that unset greasy, quote unquote greasy look, I guess you could say. So I think I'm gonna skip powdering this one. I am going to do concealer and powder under my eyes though. I just went ahead and put concealer underneath my eyes. I used my favorite e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. And then I also went in and set it with the e.l.f. halo glow powder just because this is like a very light powder. It sets your makeup but doesn't give like a very, very heavy matte finish or anything like that. And I really do wanna kind of keep the natural quality of this skin tint, but I, I wanna avoid getting like too oily or greasy as well. I was going back and forth a couple times in my head, but I decided just to set a few key areas on my face. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder. I'm even going to tap off the excess on the back of my hand so it's not too much. And just press this very, very lightly on my chin. And then I typically also get oily a little bit in the center of my eyebrows right here, like right at the top of my right at the top of the bridge of my nose. I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to powder my cheeks, my forehead, or anything like that. Typically, I don't have a problem with my complexion products lasting on those areas of my face. So just these couple key areas that get a little bit oily should do the trick. So here is my final look for today with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I just kept it very light and natural. I'm just wearing a little bit of a cream bronzer just on the outsides of my face and a little bit of lip oil. I skipped over blush, highlighter, and powder on the rest of my face. As I mentioned, just to keep it very light and minimal so we could really see how the actual skin tint is looking. Sometimes when I wear highlighter, I feel like it makes me look a little bit more dewy and luminous than I actually am. So I figured I would just keep the face nice and plain with just a little bit of bronzer today. As I've said a million times already, this is just so my vibe. I love this light coverage, but I do have to say the coverage is not as light as other skin tints and tinted moisturizers that I have tried. And I think that's what makes it different. It kind of just clicked. I don't think this is a tinted moisturizer per se. I think it is just a skin tint like in comparison to something like the Wet n Wild Bare Focus is tinted hydrator. This was very, very hydrating. They focus on the hyaluronic acid in here, the squalene, those very hydrating ingredients for your skin that just has a little bit of tint to it. Whereas the Fenty Skin Tint, I feel like focuses more on the complexion. Comparing the Ease Drop to something like the Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild, this definitely has more coverage. I think it has more of like a natural satin finish compared to this Wet n Wild one was just like super, super dewy, wet looking. And I honestly feel like even if you have oily skin, you might really like this as well with just some powder. As you guys can see, it is giving me a nice shine and a nice dew, like especially on the high points of my face, on my forehead a little bit, the tip of my nose. It is giving me a nice dew there, but I do feel like if you're oily, it's not super, super greasy where it's just going to slide off your face. I feel like this will work for you just with some powder. The last thing that I wanted to touch on before I jump on into the wear test is just a quick shade comparison. If you guys wear 190 in the Pro Filter foundation like I do, I will show you the shades next to each other just so you could see if shade five is something that you would want to get. So this one right here that's a little bit deeper is the Ease Drop Skin Tint in the shade five. And then this one right here is the original Pro Filter Foundation in 190. So just so you guys have that comparison, as I said, the skin tint does run a teeny tiny bit darker, but it does work for me as well. And as I said, especially going into the summer, it is a better shade match for me right now. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on how this wears throughout the day. It is 9.28 in the morning. I started application around 8.30, around an hour ago. So we're going to call the first check-in time at 8.30. I actually started filming early today. I'm super proud of myself, but I will come back 
later, maybe around six to eight hours of wear. So I will see you guys later for my next check-in. Hi, you guys. I am back for my end of day check-in and I am very, very shiny as you guys can see, but it is now around 7.30 PM. And that means that I've been wearing this skin tint for almost 11 hours on my face. I applied it around 8.30 this morning and this is what we are looking like, you guys. I have not touched up at all. I've been trying to be really careful with like touching my face and talking on the phone. As I'm sure you guys can see, we are very, very dewy, a little bit too dewy for my liking. I definitely think at this point I am looking greasy and oily. Keep in mind though, I only did set my chin and around in between my eyebrows here. So the rest of my face, like my cheeks and stuff and the rest of my forehead are completely unset. Now that I know that this skin tint definitely makes me look a little bit oily looking, I think in the future I will go ahead and set this right off the bat. Despite me loving that super gorgeous, natural, dewy glow that it gives upon the first application, this is just a little bit too much for me right now and it actually feels like very greasy on my skin, but I don't know if you guys can see, despite the oiliness and all the shininess, it really didn't break down. Like I'm still getting the coverage everywhere that I had put it on my face. If you are someone who was like super duper dry, even throughout the summer, your skin stays bone dry and you never use powder in the summer either, you might be able to get away with this. But even if you are like me, who's like combination more on like the normal to dry side, and I didn't even go outside today, you guys. I've been sitting inside in the air conditioning all day today and this is still how the skin is looking. Now what I wanna do is just take a little bit of my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I just kinda wanna see how this touches up. I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit of the powder and just kinda press it on my face. Wow, we instantly got rid of that shininess and I feel like it looks brand new again on the skin. So this is something you can definitely touch up throughout the day or just powder it from the start, I guess. I still don't wanna to put too much powder on because I don't wanna look matte. I'm just kind of taking down some of that crazy shininess that I had going on. But overall, you guys, I do really, really love this Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I definitely think this is a great product for the summertime or even all year round if you are just someone who likes a little bit more light coverage, something easy to apply. If you like the lightweight packaging opposed to something in a glass bottle. I definitely do think that this skin tint is going to be something that you like. I mean, for it claiming to have more of that light and sheer coverage, it's still covered what I personally want it to cover and I still think that my skin looks nice and even and just really great so this is definitely a win for me you guys know I always love testing out new foundations and complexion products and this one is definitely a 10 out of 10 I love Fenty Beauty they rarely ever disappoint me so as I said I'm not too shocked that I love this but I am happy that it ended up working out because sometimes you just never know all right you guys so that is it that is my first impression review and wear test on the new Fenty Beauty ease drop blurring skin tint and an 11 hour wear test is a really long time, but I'm super happy that I got to do this for you guys so you can really see how it wears throughout the whole entire day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and spending time with me today. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't wanna miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.